Welcome to another short from the Vet Med Digest. Transfusions stand as a crucial, potentially life-saving procedure in veterinary medicine, yet they carry definite risks, especially for our feline patients. Unlike dogs, cats possess strong, naturally occurring L antibodies that make pretransfusion typing absolutely mandatory. In cats, the core issue lies in the AB blood group system. Type B cats universally possess potent anti-A antibodies, meaning that receiving even a small volume of type of blood can result in a rapid, fatal acute hemolytic reaction. However, knowing the AB type is not enough. Other antigens exist, such as the MYC antigen and feline erythrocyte antigen 1, for which routine typing is often unavailable. Because naturally occurring L antibodies against these non-AB antigens can cause clinically significant acute hemolytic reactions, comprehensive compatibility testing, known as cross-matching, is strongly suggested prior to a cat's first transfusion. This cross-matching becomes strongly recommended if the cat has received a previous transfusion more than two days earlier, as the immune system rapidly develops new L antibodies. Donor safety is foundational, requiring careful health assessment, screening via clinical pathology tests, and rigorous testing for infectious agents like feline leukemia virus and mycoplasma hemophilus using molecular assays such as polymerase chain reaction. Clinicians must also inspect the blood product for evidence of hemolysis, recommending against using red blood cell units exceeding 1% hemolysis. Despite careful screening, acute transfusion reactions occur. A large prospective study found the incidence of acute reactions was 7.8% for red blood cell containing products, but only 1.1% for plasma products. The most common acute event observed is the febrile non-hemolytic transfusion reaction. Notably, the odds of a febrile non-hemolytic transfusion reaction increase with increasing red blood cell unit age and when the product is administered via an infusion pump instead of a syringe driver. In extreme emergencies when compatible feline blood is entirely unavailable, canine blood products may be used, but this is reserved as a single, one-off xenotransfusion because the cat's body will rapidly destroy the canine red blood cells within 4-7 to seven days, and a subsequent transfusion would be fatal. Ultimately, managing feline transfusion requires meticulous attention to compatibility testing and adherence to established guidelines for monitoring and administration to minimize risk. Thank you for listening. The link for the full podcast is below. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of material. From VetMed Digest, where we keep minds inspired, hearts light, and tails wagging.